Hey guys, I wanted to access some of my old music files, which are stored on this, which is a Western Digital uh, My Book Live or something, I think it's called. Yeah, WD My Book Live, um, which is on my uh, network on the LAN and I can also access it when I'm out and about because it's on the network but I haven't had any reason to access it for probably years I think that's probably been running since 2013 ish maybe even longer come to think of it in fact, I think they came out in 2010 or something. Anyway, I couldn't access access it off my PC. So I went upstairs because it's up in my workroom under the desk. And the LED on the front doesn't come on. So I've brought it downstairs. I've checked the power supply and we are getting, I think it's 12 volts out of it. So that's okay. But as I say, the LED doesn't come on, so if I plug the network in, the green and yellow lights don't come on. So I started looking on YouTube for people who've taken it apart, because I thought I might as well take it apart and have a look inside. And there's a quite a nice video, which I'll put a link to. Chap takes it apart and fixes his by replacing the circuit board um, with one from another drive because you can take the drive out it's a I think this one's a two terabyte drive in this one you can take the drive out but it's encrypted so you can't read it on your PC you need the circuit board running because it's a, a hard hardware encryption so he found by buying another second-hand one he was able to swap the circuit board over and got full access to his files so that's what i might do um reading the comments on his video somebody had suggested it was the um i can't think what it's called now let's look it up it's a, a safety diode um got it written down here somewhere TVS, transient voltage spike or something, I think it stands for. Diode which goes across straight across the power and it blows if you get a spike or overcurrent. So there was a link there that took us to the um, support on the WD site on how to look at this um, TVS diode at the WD community site um, but when you get to the WD site we'll just uh, have a look on here oh I've got up the wrong link oh that's annoying oh it's all whited out so you can't see it anyway but basically they've stopped support for it and not only have they stopped support, but if I can just get the text up for you, there was a, uh, a vulnerability, an exploitation, which enabled hackers to get in and access your files. So I'm wondering whether it's even worth trying to get my data back if just plugging it back in again and getting it working means it's vulnerable uh, the vulnerability was noticed uh, back in 2021 I'm just trying to see where it says it here oh yes they offer a 
a data recovery process service or a trade-in program but the trade-in program ended in 2021 I think possibly the reason I wasn't notified was I've changed my email addresses uh, back in I don't know 2019 I think it was because there was a problem with my BT internet um, email address that I wasn't willing to pay the money they wanted me to pay for it when all the other sites do free email so I changed to Gmail so if they tried to contact me on my old BT internet address they wouldn't have got hold of me so I didn't know there was a, effectively a recall so I've lost, lost out on that what I think I'll do having waffled for six minutes is I'll probably still take this apart and have a look and see if it is that diode that's blown the protection diode because that may be fixable I've checked on there with a meter and I'm actually not getting anything when I go, go across the DC in or at least I'm getting nothing unless I go right up to uh, something like 200k range down at the 200 ohm range which is what they suggest you check just looking for the diode shorting out I'm getting nothing there so the diode if it has failed it hasn't failed to a short it's failed to an open circuit so I might take it apart and have a look but I'm still unsure as to whether I actually want to reconnect it to my network if it's got a vulnerability problem there you go seven minutes of waffle I'll put links in the video description I've already pre prepared the text file so um, yeah I'll put that in there right, let's just see if we can get it open It's got some plastic clips in it somewhere. Yeah. That's ones that I've broken. Okay, well, we're in. It's got sort of rubberized feet holding it in place. It's so whether there's one of these diodes right there. I don't, don't see a diode right there. I seem to remember Big Clive talking about that sort of thing as being a fusible resistor. So I might just try and put a meter across that anyway. It would be really nice if that's all the problem was, which I very much doubt. Well, not good news. Put the power on it and i'm actually measuring uh it's a 12 volt power supply when i plug it in i'm only getting 11 volts when i'm measuring on the input tags but they are going across that resistor fine so that hasn't blown or anything and that capacitor uh, that's a inductor next to it i was going to say capacitor but it's actually labeled l L for inductor so it's not a simple fix uh, the suggested modifi uh, modification of the suggested fix was to buy another one of these take that board off it plug it into or take that board off the other one plug it into this one and then it should work 
then you can get your data off it and um, do what you like with it. As I say, just plugging that hard drive into the PC won't work because it's been encrypted. Just on the subject of getting this apart from the beginning and those clips there, it looks like it should have just pulled out that way. I was levering the edges up because that's what I'd seen on one of the videos. But now that I can see those clips, which went into those clips, clearly it should have been pulled out that way on those sliders. So the video that I watched first of all, which I won't put a link to, where he was levering it up like I was showing you, was the wrong way to do it. Has just slid in. Don't want to, but that's yeah, like that. Still, we know now. So I'm going to, have to jam something in there to push that out. That way. Let's do that for the camera again. Jam something in there and push it out that way. Those clips should have released. Anyway, I'll need to decide whether I want to try and buy one of, if there's one available. I mean, we're talking quite a few years old now. That'd be one way of getting me music files back off there. I don't know if I've got them backed up anywhere else. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.